Well, we are just going to look a simple fast through how to use a group box. So first go to containers and get a group box. Group box is simple to use, easy to see and easy to understand. So whenever I change a value for a group box, it will affect every value like in form 1. So I just change it and change the text of it. Let's just call it text check. Okay, now we just make it any size you want. I'm just going to make it a bit huge now, so I don't think have to think about that for now. Let's create a label, a link label you choose. Doesn't matter. Let's just create one example of both. And here you can type in your text. And I'm also just going to create a label. We are not going to use the purpose of the link label, but your text. Now let us get a text box. Okay, now we have that. So now I can resize it a little. Okay, or not. Me wrong. So now let me just well we, I, I I just remove it, sorry. Well now create a link label and another label. Here I can type in what I want like status and this I just type none. Oh my god. There we are, happy ending. Okay. A little bit more like this. There now. Not the terrible worst looking. So now I'm just going to move that a little. So let me go in here and apply if text box one text equals hey then label link label to my link label one text is equaling to you type in hey with a small hey uh, with a small letters only with small letters only it should be and never mind it's just a tutorial to show you how it works so grammar isn't that important for me so if I type in thing nothing happens and if I type in hey if I type in hey with small letters ah uh, letters yeah well as you see now it didn't get the only so you can click here and yeah add a size select the true and grow only, grow and shrink. So now, let's try again. And, hey, as you see, the box expanded, or whatever we call it, it grown. So, the text was suited to the box. But be careful about doing this if you have other related stuff next to it. Just so you know. Also, you can do the same with the text box and so, I suppose, I think. Or not. Well, whatsoever, if you can, if you can't, you will just see it yourself. Okay. Let's add a tooltip. This is a tooltip. Just drag and drop it on. It most like it will affect almost every single value of any items you add. So just click the link label one. And go down a little bit. And you will see the tooltip on tooltip one. And then you can press like... If you type uh, hey with a small h, and now if I debug and take the mouse over it, it's coming up. Type it. <laughs> yeah, well, wrong spell, but then you see it's just coming over. Easy to understand. Okay, simply what we wanted to look through for now.